Hey guys, today's subject is tightening your props so it doesn't come off and drive dog adjustment. Now let's start with your drive dog. Now there's a lot of myths in Facebook groups and pro boat groups and stuff that tell you you need to put some big jackass gap between here, the drive dog and the strut. Definitely with our boats, you absolutely do not need to. Back in the day, back in the day, cables used to shrink. Ours are super high quality and they don't shrink. The only thing you might get is a little bit of motor play. What you want is about a playing card space between the Teflon washer and the, and the strut. That's it. That's all you want. Now, the nature of the drive dog is this recess is in a slot. Sometimes the slot, you can be far up on the slot. So when you tighten your prop on, it actually moves this drive dog further down and it'll, it'll make that gap less. It'll actually tighten things up right there. So after you tighten your prop, you need to check that again. I actually hold the prop itself with cloth or tissue when I'm tightening it. That way I can get leverage on it without cutting my hand because there's no other way to hold the prop in place. But if you use cloth, even a shirt, and hold it, and when you hold it, gorilla tighten it. I'm talking about tighten it hard. This, all this meat between here, you're not gonna crush the prop there. So tightening it hard is not gonna hurt anything. I mean, it is possible eventually to strip the bullet, but we use aluminum and I still gorilla tighten them. So again, like I said, hold the prop with cloth so you don't cut your hand and gorilla tighten it on.